What's up guys and welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. And today, we're gonna be heading out of Porch Prisma because in the last episode, we finally were able to complete the one area, which was right up here. And we were also able to, you know, adventure a lot. We fixed a bridge in Port Prisma, a lot of cool stuff that you wouldn't know would happen if you, of course, checked out the previous episode. But for right now, why don't we go ahead and uh, go to Blue Bay Beach? Because we haven't checked this out. You can see there was an area to the right of it. And I think there was a total looting to it in the previous episode that I think that like maybe if we are able to unlock that, we can maybe get the blue star that's in Port Prisma. I'm not really sure though. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Got art. Got art. You got it. Looks like there's going to be a lot of blue here. We'll have to keep that in mind. Hello, Toad. Yo, Mario. Here at Blue Bay Beach, we're getting ready for Ocean Fest. It's a big festival where we celebrate the ocean and get down with our bad selves. All of us toads are totally bummed. Ocean Fest, the paint stars are missing and you're planning a beach party? I mean, it's up to us to find them, not them. But I guess toads will be toads. I miss the days when they used to dance around Prisma Fountain. If, if we ever want to see another toad color party, we need to find those big paint stars. There should be a mini paint star somewhere around this beach. Let's take a look around. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start filling this stuff up then. This looks like it's gonna be a fun level. There are enemies everywhere already though. We can't walk on the water and what is this? Ah, that's cool, it's like a little she seashell. I like that, interesting. Hi, what are these toads, are they stacking up? The Ocean Fest Square is up ahead, but they're still preparing. Why don't you explore around here first? Okay, don't tell me what to do. Say, whoa, Mario, we've been in line since last night, no paper cutting. Oh. Oh my, back at the, look at them all colored because I smacked them with the hammer. They are rough with it. Welcome to the Ocean Fest this way. So we're not going down there just yet. Uh -uh. I like how the, <laughs> the Koopas don't bother with the toads. They only care about like Mario, you know? Yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da, yeah, da, 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 da. So we got the new pl the plunger that we got in the last episode. I got so many uncolored boots. All right, I just need one uncolored boot. I don't think I'll need anything more than that. <laughs> You're just seeing this huge line of uncolored boots. All right, boop, bop, yeah, hey, get him out of here. There'll be nothing that, you know, that turtle shell can bounce off of and hit me in the face, that's good. We getting cool stuff for that? Indeed we do. I'm almost next, okay, I thought I was closer to another full hammer, but I guess not. All right, let's fill this up. There's another toad over here, and, but it's so bright too. Like You can just sort of feel the brightness. The art style in this game translates so well. It's amazing. All right, let's go ahead, boom, hit that up, and then I'm gonna, oh, well, hold on, hold on. Ready, boom, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> okay, ready, oh, oh, come on, I pressed A, how about can I block? Hmm, well, I'm just gonna use a normal boot then, because that I'll be able to use to get rid of him pretty easily. Just send it up like that, and I'll be able to fight him. It won't be a perfect battle, of course, because I've already taken damage, but it's easy enough, right? There you go, get out of here, dude. They're pretty weak when they're not in their shell, so not that big of an issue. There you go, he's out of here. Get some uh, paint back, get some coins. Good stuff. I keep pressing the wrong buttons all of a sudden. I don't know what's up with that. Get this, get that. There's a lot of paint to get here, it looks like. I, I can hit this, and these guys too. Just gotta keep my eyes out, because I really want to 100% an area in this game, and I haven't had the chance to yet. Look at all you guys. Oi, Mario, get out, get a load of this super cool blue toad. He's gonna sail to the edge of the world in, in, his in this tiny boat. Look at how angry the blue toad looks. I wonder what's the edge of the world. I wonder what's at the end of the world. Like, is it pretty? Quiet, this isn't about finding a pretty place or being cool. I'm embarking on this long, foolish, potentially deadly journey in order to discover my destiny. Can I come with? Sounds like a midlife crisis to me. Just buy a convertible and be done with it. Jeez. The edge of the world is probably pretty far, so you might want to upgrade your ride anyway. Let's get some food. Oh, he's still yellow. Hey, Ocean Fest is finally starting, come on. Oh. Nice, about time. We're out of here. Have fun on your boat, loser. Hey, don't be mean. Ocean Fest. Okay, you guys are being jerks. That's just not cool. If the guy wants to live his life, let him. You don't have to like dish out your opinion like that. I don't have time for your city festivals. It's time to discover my destiny. You do what you think is cool, man. I, I don't care about anything else besides that. You're awesome. Can I talk to you? Looks like I can. I'm heading to the margin of the world to find my destiny. You do that, man. I believe in you full heartedly. I can't do anything about it. 
but I talked to you, right? Looks like Ocean Fest has started, but I'm not into the festival scene. I'm just gonna walk around by myself and look cool. Well, you do look cool. Good job. Let's go ahead and, oh man, almost got him, almost got him. Ready, boom, nice. Okay, I got him there. He's probably gonna go into shell form now, which is cool. And all his Koopa buddies popped up. We got this, this'll be fine. I can't sing, so I probably shouldn't be singing along to the music here. All right, I don't even need to fully paint it. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this. Ready, go. So this has been so much fun. I've been loving this game. Like, I, I haven't really been listening to too many other people's opinions on the game, especially since by the time this video is going up, the game is out, but when I'm recording this, the game isn't even close to being out yet. I've only listened to like other reviewers' opinions, and I've heard some good things. I actually haven't really heard any bad reviews on the game so far. Um, maybe it's just because the expectations of it not being great were so high, which I, I still don't understand, but... Can we get up here? Oh yeah, we can. Let's get up here then. Get ourselves, oh cool. Got ourselves, what is that? The line jump, interesting. We'll have to check that out, whatever that is. Oh, look at this, all of the paints. That is cool. Oh, look at this hidden little cave and everything. This is a cool area, I'm digging this. It's so relaxing too. The music score in this game is by far great so far. Uh, Gah, where is it? There's a rumor that there's some legendary pirate captain hidden this, hid his treasure somewhere around here. I've been looking around for a hidden switch or something, but I guess it's just a legend. Or is it? Maybe we'll find it, because we're stinking Mario, we just do whatever we want. All right, well, hmm. I'm not sure, we'll just keep our eye out for secrets as we always do, there's a worn out hammer. Maybe we'll head back into the cave afterwards once we find some other stuff, but right now, I am like cards galore right now, it's great. Get all these coins, and then, oh, whoa! Oh, look at this view. Very nice. Would you look at that view? He's so happy. Sorry, I've never actually seen this part of the ocean before. It's amazing. Too bad I'm just a flimsy piece of paper, otherwise I'd go for a swim. Oh yeah, I guess he's a paper doll, he used to not be. But there's no, usually when there's a scenic view like this, it sometimes means, oh geez, that we fall. <laughs> But, oh no, I don't wanna exit the world map. But it sometimes means there'll be one of those, you know, dotted line things. So I'm trying to look for that, keep my eye out for it. Right now, I guess there isn't. Let me go back into the cave. And maybe there'll be a, oh, missed this one. So distracted by the line of rainbow paint that I, I, I missed that entirely. But let's go back into here. Maybe there is something here we can find. Hmm. Interesting. Like, things look peculiar in here, don't they? But they're, like, he's really searching. Maybe if you scoot out of the way. Whoa! Oh my gosh! We did it! <laughs> he's still looking, though. Okay, let's pick up all these coins. Holy cow! And we got the plunger replica, too. All right, cool stuff. I can't believe we found it. We found the hidden pirate treasure. So we got a replica plunger, so I'm guessing, yeah, whatever that is. I thought I heard a wall or something slide open, but there's no time for distractions. I've got to find that treasure. I feel so bad for him. I feel like I should give him some. I mean, it wasn't a ton, it was like, you know, like 30, 40 coins, so, I mean, not even, like probably 20 coins, which, I mean, seeing how in the first or second episode, or yeah, the first episode, that one guy was like, are you a Mario imposter that gets paid like nine coins an hour? I'm guessing that, you know, 20 coins is like two hours worth of work then. So I don't know if that's all that crazy. What is going on over here? Oh gosh, Cheap Chiefs! Oh, I got one! So we can battle Cheap Chiefs now, this is a brand new enemy, so I definitely want to show it off. All right, ooh. So what should we do here? I think we're just gonna go ahead and use a, a normal, we'll use two worn out hammers and that should be fine. I don't think we need anything more than that. So let's get to fighting here. Ooh, yeah! All right then, and then we'll use the other one. I'll definitely take both of them out, I think. Unless I mess it up. But hey, it still worked. No, man, he's almost, oh, that stinks. He's almost down, but not quite. Oh, what should I use then? That won't be a waste. I should just use an unpainted boot, really. I think that's gonna be my best bet. Let's go ahead and do that. And, ooh, boom. There you go, and we'll get some extra coins out of it too, but he is out for the count for sure. And there you go. So Mario seems pretty happy about that. We'll get a bunch of cool stuff for it. So I'll try to keep my eye out for cheap sheep, so we could take them out. That'd probably make things a little easier for us, and we get some bonuses for it. The battling system is not getting old for me, though, so far. It's still just fun and enjoyable because it's nice and quick. It's like, how can you get sick of it? It's like, it barely lasts anything, you know? 
There you go, let's get that. And it's like, also what I'm always worried about playing through these RPG games on the channel is that it's like, I'm worried that half the time we'll be battling and it'll be the same thing over and over again, you know? But it seems like that's not the case. It's like, you know, we're doing a lot more exploring, talking to toads, enjoying the environments, and we are close to doing battling, which I mean, I can't wait until boss fights start swinging around. I can only hope that there's gonna be a lot of those. Let's see, the Ocean Fest Square is just ahead. It's already open, just watch out for the cheap cheeps. Darn things are everywhere. Okay. I've already ran into a few of them. I mean, this is a bit of a hazard. You think they'd be set up some fences or something? I guess uh, toads aren't into manual labor. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Let's actually use our brand new line bounce and see what that's like. Let's go ahead and fill it up. But this is a line bounce. I don't know what it does. So we're gonna find out together and fight. All right, ready? Ooh. Oh man, I like that. But it looks like that's the mo that's like the extent of it. We got an excellent there, which usually once you get an excellent, that means it's done. Whoa, 10 damage though, man. I did not want to die for the first time. So let's just go ahead and use a worn, up, worn out hammer. And that should be getting done when I need to get done. Still, I was not expecting that much. Ooh. Yeah, that was good. All right, we got it. Just more cheap cheeps being taken out. And they're tough though. Let's go ahead and boom. Wait, there you go. So, what else is going on around here? We got that, we got another hammer. That as well. And then get this. And that. Oh no, okay. I honestly, I don't wanna fight any more cheap cheeps, but, because I got these guys to fight. I already have enough on my plate, thank you very much. Get these darn Koops, these little Koopas. I gotta take care of, oh, well we have more cheap cheeps now. But that's fine, I can handle it like this. Let's go ahead and use the triple jump. Maybe I should throw in a little extra something something. I got like a billion boots, so I might as well just throw that in, paint it up, throw it out there. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. We're gonna be doing a lot of jumping here. <laughs> a lot of jumping. Now he's on his shell version, which is great. I can actually take care of the rest of them like that. Which makes me feel like I made a major mistake by throwing in both of them, I guess not. All right, come on, take you out. The Cheap Cheeps have a lot of health, actually. That's pretty surprising. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, we're doing good now. There you go. Cool stuff. So there's a perfect bonus for us. That's good, it's always fun when we get a perfect bonus. What I really need is some health. All right, I'm trying to dodge this Koopa. Well, you know, I wanted to hit him eventually, but I'm just trying to get my stuff first, and I got the hammer stuff, so that's good. So is he gonna have a friend? He is gonna have a friend. So I think I can actually take him out with an, you know, a multi-hop again. So we're just gonna use that, paint it up, and we should be good with that. So just a normal jump. Let's see. Ooh. Well, he wasn't in his shell version. I don't know why I thought that would work. I was not thinking. It would be cool if there was a way to dodge it so that you could take no damage, but I guess there really isn't. Let's just go ahead and do what we just did there, though. That'll be enough to take care of this guy. I just didn't realize he wasn't in the shell, you know? So it's like I didn't piece it together for whatever reason. Or I'm just a dingus, I guess. All right, we got a great, but that's all we need. 289 coins for us. We'll get a few more once he explodes. Just like that. Here, no coin! Got it. <laughs> no, cheap cheeps, leave me alone. Oh, we filled up the hammer. Just gonna get it from 202. Oh, 220, max pain up. All right, got that as well. Hmm, let's get that. That's a line jump again, that's awesome. I want more line jumps. Okay, these guys like really get jumping. Oh my gosh, they really get jumping. Hey dude, how are you? The Ocean Fest Square is just ahead. There are some pretty cool events happening on the main stage. I will keep that in mind. Give me some coins. And we'll get some paint back maybe. Yep, let me fill this up. Is this gonna be a full health? Yes it is, very cool. So I wonder if we will be getting health boosts at some point. I don't think we've gone away. I think we've been at 50 health the whole game so far. And it looks like we're at the festival now, awesome. All right, can I? Oh wait, this doesn't have paint on it. There you go, now it has paint. Okay, then you got these hidden, over these little sand dunes. Like I guess they're supposed to be like sand castles? I'm not really sure. All right, well we got a bunch of toads to talk to. Ocean Fest in Blue Bay Beach, woo! What do you gotta say? I just wanted to talk to all of them. I'm staking out this spot for the next show. I've never been to like a festival thing like this. I've been to like gaming conventions like PAX East before, but never like a festival. I'm not really that kind of person though. This part of uh, Ocean Fest is the events on the main stage. Like I'm not really like a social get together kind of person, I guess. Ocean Fest is pretty much the highlight of my year. 
which is odd because I really don't like the ocean and I detest festivals. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm not a big fan of like oh, the ocean either just because I, I guess I could just get uncomfortable with like sand and stuff easy. I don't know. I wonder what kind of pe palant we'll see. Is that supposed to be a joke? Oh yeah, I get it. It's really like talent, but it's like a pail, like a pail and shovel that you use to dig up sand? I th oh, yeah, here we go, huh? Oh, pail is short for paper talent. Okay, no, I was wrong. I tried too hard. Get with the times, Grandpa. Shut up. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? People get picked from, from the audience to participate in the events, which is always exciting. Winners get even get a prize. I've never volunteered, though. I'm too shy, I'd rather watch. Maybe you're one of the shy guys. Oh, look at this, it looks like a Yoshi egg. Oh, that's cute. I'm guessing it needs to be colored up them. Oh, what is this? This looks like something. Um, huh. Interesting, we'll go explore that in a moment too. Oh man, I'm loving this game though. It's fun. Wait, we haven't talked to you yet, have we? I'm hoping to find love at Ocean Fest. Fest. Wish me like, like, like true love. Interesting. I mean, we haven't seen Toadette in the game. Not to say that a Toad can't fall in love with a fellow Toad, but I'm just saying like, we haven't seen a Toadette in the game. Is Toadette gonna be lore friendly to Paper Mario Color Splash or are they just not going to acknowledge her? Hmm, I'm not sure. There you go. So we got a bunch of stuff here. And you got a one-up mushroom, cool. So that's new. I'm guessing that if we get taken out, we can use that or maybe if we have a familiar, which I don't think we're gonna have at this point. Like if we were to find a familiar, I'm pretty sure we would have found one by now. Let's get some of this stuff. Hit this, get some blue, that's good. I actually am full in blue, so I guess it's sort of neutral. But yeah, I've been to PAX East back in 2015. It was a lot of fun. Back then, I wasn't popular enough to meet any Zebra Herd members, though. So maybe one day I'll go to a convention and I'll meet a bunch of Zebra Herd members. Look at this. This is cute. It's a, wait a minute, there's a shy guy. Hands off my straw. It's more precious than life itself. Oh, I see. Let's tussle, man. I'll make sure that you never get that straw again. Let's just go with the triple jump. If it's just him, we probably don't even need the triple jump, but it's a worn out triple jump. I can't wait until we get full on triple jumps. That sounds cool. But right now, we can just take him out with this and it's gonna be so easy. Yeah, nice. Don't even need the rest of it. There you go, perfect bonus. We're definitely making our way back up in coins, which is good. Oh no, hey, can I get back up here? Yes, I can. Okay, good, good. So, I ordered a drink, but I forgot to bring a straw. Anyone got one I could borrow? Ah, uh, that, I, I wish I did, man, I wish I did. Ocean Fest signature tropical drink is the Frozen Blue Royale. It's kind of a mouthful, but it's a delicious mouthful. That's cool. Can I talk to you? Uh, welcome, enjoying Ocean Fest? Yeah, let's color that up. Nice, I'm glad I noticed that. That one could have been a tricky one. All right, is there anything else I haven't painted up yet? I don't think so, but what is this toad gonna sign? Uh, up ahead is a very exclusive, blissful be beach. Uh, it's a perfect beach where society's most elite can relax in the utmost elegance. Well, you gonna let me in? No? What can I talk anymore? Okay, so I guess I'm just not allowed in. I mean, you would think there'd be some kind of entry, like, to prove myself. Let's go talk to the yellow toad and then we'll go down this path over here. What do you have to say, dude? Mario, welcome to Ocean Fest. We're just about to start the super fun event here on the main stage. And it just so happens that we need a volunteer. Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, sure. I knew you'd be game. Let's get started. Please welcome to the stage, five fun guys. Oh. Cool. For, for our first act, no, it's not clan digging, it's Toad and Go Seek. Five fun guys are all going to hide in different spots around the immediate area. You just need to find all five of them. All right, Toad and Go Seek. So they're gonna be all hiding, we gotta find five of them. Well, they all ran off that way, but I'm not gonna, like what is the area? Oh, there's one of them. My eyes are shut so tight I can't, uh, so I don't get sand in them. I can't see anything, but I can still sense awkward situations. You found me, didn't you? <laughs> all right, so there's one of them. And I'm hoping that it's not like off this little patch of island, but it looks like there's no timer too. So that's good. Oh wait, okay, first thing I saw the green toad on the stage, I thought that was it. Oh, I see you behind the eye, Tim. You can't do that. Hey, hold on. Welcome. Oh, you got me. On the plus side, I can make a mean latte now. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just on this specific island or on other parts of it as well. Hmm. Not behind him. Hmm. Like maybe they'd be under these? I'm not really sure. I don't see any around. Oh, I see you up there under the tree. <laughs> He's hiding. Look at him up there. Come on down. All right. 
<laughs> Man, it was really hot up there. Makes you really feel feel the plight of the coconut, you know? <laughs> Poor coconut. Maybe there's stuff behind here. Wait, I feel like I just saw one. No, I think that's just the green in the background. Luckily the green, well I mean unluckily the green stands out a lot. Or it doesn't, there's a lot of green is what I'm saying. So green on top of green is tough to see. I don't see anything over there. I don't see any way to get behind the stage in a way that would be helpful. All right, let's try going across here. And maybe just maybe we'll find some. Hmm. Hello. There has to be some toads. Is that a Yoshi egg? I'm about to freak out. Is it, is there gonna be Yoshi in this game? Paper Yoshi? I'll take it. Okay, hold on. It's a Yoshi egg. No, no, it's not. It's a green toad. I'm a dingus. I thought it was a Yoshi egg. Phew, I'm getting wicked sunburned, but the sun sure is angry today. You know a thing or two about the angry sun, don't you? All right. I just, oh yeah, we do know a thing or two about the angry sun. You know what I don't know why? Super Mario Bros. 3. Ready for a toad and go seek it? Here it is, trick or, the trick is to seek toads. Really? <laughs> the shell, that shell. Oh, I guess he's trying to give me a hint. There he is. All right, here's the final toad. Oh no, he's a little bent. You okay? I got in here to hide and then she, the shell closed on me. Now my hair is all messed up. Maybe no one will notice. Oh, poor toad. You found all five, let's go back to the stage. So hopefully we get a prize for that. Now let's go ahead, get all that stuff. I definitely need more yellow paint, so if I can get some, just like that. The coconuts drop them, that's so cool, I love that. Let's get some here as well, and that should be enough for now. So cool, we found all five toads, it wasn't too hard. But still, nice and helpful. All right, uh, pretty boring when you're watching the stage, Ocean Fest ain't what it used to be. There's always that one guy. <laughs> wow, nice work, you found all five, all, all of the five fun guys. You've, ne you've won Toad and Go Seek, thanks for playing. So let's move on to the main event. You wanna be a part of the main event too, right? Yeah, sure. No one's excited about it. Let's see then, let's get started. Featuring our world famous singing, dancing, shuffling toads. It's Toad Shuffle. Yeah, woo, shuffle, shuffle, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's a key. Now feast your eyes on this spectacular, one of a kind key. And this is the grand prize, a key to the very prestigious, blissful beach, wowza. I will hand the key to one of the five fun guys. The five fun guys are identical quintuplets, so watch who I gave it to very closely. Okay, so he has it, he's the middle one right now. And do you see which toad I gave it to? Okay, now feel free to walk, to talk to any of the five fun guys, but look with your eyes, all right? No touching. Talk to me again when you're done. So they're going to mix around? Wait, what? Yeah, I got, it was given to the guy with the, Maybe I've got the key? I'm, well, I'm pretty sure he did. Yes, I am a toad. Don't mess this up, okay? I'll try. See, are you paying attention? Yeah. <laughs> maybe I've got the thing, maybe I don't. I think, yeah, this guy has it. With the, He just handed it to him. And he has the bent head, too. Okay, then, let's watch the five guys dance and shuffle. Them. And remember to keep track of that key. So obviously it's gonna be the guy with the bent head, but either way, we'll make sure to keep an eye on it. I'll put my hoof to the screen, which you guys can't see, but just so I can keep Track event. And I know exactly which one, it's the one on the far half. So which of the toads has the key? Please talk to the one you think it is. You think I had the key? Yeah. Ooh. What? That's not true. That's not true. Ooh, tough beds, wrong. What? This is definitely the toad you gave the key to. I was following. Oh yeah, where's your evidence? Yeah, they're identical quid templates. It's impossible to tell them apart. Don't make it so hard. Hmm, Mario, something about this smells fishy. They definitely gave the key to this toad. If only there was a better way to keep track of what showed us. Which, yeah, he has a bent head. You wanna try this sh shuffle again? I know what to do. Let's try it now. Let's try it now. No! You little cheater! All right, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, I, that has to be what we have to do. So he's gonna hand it to you. Even though you have the bent head, apparently that's not enough. Every time he hands it to the guy with the bent head. Let's try it. All right. Oh, look at him. Okay, this is totally gonna work. It worked, this is such a clever way to do it too. Even though he has a bent head, that should be the answer, but now that has to be this one. Okay, so which one of the toads has a key? Please take the one you think it is. It's this one. You think I have the key? Yes, you don't. If you don't, then it's rigged. 
It's rigged! It's stinking rigged! Tough luck, pal, I had the key. No, 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 look at how bad Huey is. Aha, I knew it! This is all a big scam! Look at the paint, there's your proof. Before they shuffled, I hit my microphone out of anger, I'm sorry. Before they shuffled around, they slapped the paint on the toad you gave the key to. Ah! Oh boy, you caught us red-handed. There's no denying it. Man, this is gonna ruin my career. Or no, is this gonna ruin my career? I can see the headline now. Shufflegate, expose! Okay, this can't get out. I'll give you the key to Blissful Beach in exchange for your silence. Okay, sorry, we were just trying to have a little fun. No hard feelings? Yeah, it's fine. As long as we can get the Blissful Beach. There you go, we solved it. You got the Blissful Beach key. And that was the 555th annual Ocean Fest has come to a close. We'll see you next year. And remember, you saw nothing. That's one headline. And remember, you saw nothing. All right, so now we can go to Blissful Beach, and why don't we? Blissful Beach Keen. Oh, I see you had the key to Blissful Beach. But how did, no one has ever won the Toad Shuffle? Well, uh, congratulations. Please, come in and experience some true bliss. How much you wanna bet it's like, nobody's ever been inside of here before and it's so unkept or something. There has to be something weird about this. No, it actually looks pretty nice. Okay, I mean, there's not really anybody here. I mean, it just looks like the rest of the beach is, you know, more stuff, but we gotta jump. Got some free stuff there. Oh, I see you. Gotcha. Getting some free cards out of it. Oh, look at this. Ah, I see it. There you go, I fixed it. So how is our progression going? I'm gonna open up the menu really quickly and check this out. We're at 81% colorization for this area. So hopefully we can continue and uh, find more stuff to help out with. Oh, look, there's a Yellowstone. Oh, look, it's one of the purple toad. Ooh, the e camera. We're gonna have to notice a whole bunch of cool stuff. How can I get across, though? Huh. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I can open this up. And I can, wait a minute. Mario, I can't experience true bliss with all the sun on me. <laughs> Hold on, what is, I can check it? Oh, he's just gonna say that. Can I paint these, or are they already painted? They just sort of look white. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to get around so I can hit it and open it up. So is there any way, like, what if, what if I go over here? Ah, oh, I think I'm figuring it out, guys. Hmm, this is a tricky area, I love it. It's a fun area for sure. Got that, got ourselves another hop slipper. Hop, slip, and a jump, right? All right, I got that, no! <laughs> There you go, I made it this time. Let's fill this up, can I get a card out of this one? Probably not. Oh, I did, okay, cool. We're gonna line jump again, that one's fully painted too. So I can get this now, but my big question is how I get over there. I really need to get over there for that purple toad, but for right now, I'll just go ahead and do this. Course clear, we get the yellow paint star. I'm guessing it's a mini paint star, but still, either way, we get the course clear. I really wanna get that purple toad though, because we want, need his help for one of the levels. But there you go, course done. All right, and what area is that gonna open up? Something way down here, and that is cool looking. I like that a lot. We could go there right now if we wanted to. Let's take a look at that really quickly. At least what the level is named, but let's see what we accomplished here. We got the Blue Bay Beach 91% colored. And then down here, we got Sunglow Ridge, color of spots restored 0%. So Sunglow Ridge, that's a new spot. Is there any other stars to get here? That was the one and only star, but obviously there's 9% more blank spots we haven't seen. Interesting. I mean, really, is there too much more we can do in that area? We could, of course, head back to the Crimson Tower. Well, we can't do too much there. How about we spend the last few minutes of this episode going back to Trey Lake, getting that toad with the key, and telling him to go to the Crimson Tower and see what that really does for us. All right then, Justice Toad. Can you help me out? If you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to call me. No. Well, maybe. It turns out that your key, your funky horn thing may fit into one of the keyholes in the Crimson Tower gate. Look at how freaked out he looks. This Crimson Tower, huh? It's close enough to walk, but scrap that. I've got superpowers now. Justice takes flight. Oh, is he really gonna fly? Oh my gosh, he is crazy. So cool. All right then, so that's all we need to do in this level, so we can go ahead and exit this, but there's another thing just sort of inching along. We could go and check out the Crimson Tower and see if he's there now. Maybe he can give us some insight on where these other special toads can be, even though he's sort of new to his own powers. You never know, like maybe he does know. 
So we're gonna go ahead and go in and see if we can't find out together. Ooh, it looks fancy, loading screen. I like this. This is gonna be where our first boss is located. It has to be, right? No, of course, it's gonna take us, it takes a lot of a lot of effort to make progress, which I like. All right, open gate for justice demands it. Nothing, sorry. I think we're gonna need at least three super toads for this one. All right, so we need to find two more super toads, which I guess we'll do in another episode of Paper Mario Killer Splash. But for now, that's where we're gonna end all things today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Toad so that you've watched in the video and that you're a Zebra Toastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.